everybody, Young Grasshopper here. Welcome to the Cliffside Bunker in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And this is a video series talking all about customizations, how you can engineer your gaming experience using products or items that are out there for you to get. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about I Will Never Grow Up Poker Chips. So here we have some extremely well-made, high-quality clay poker chips from I Will Never Grow Up says right there industrial production chips so they're made specifically for Axe and Allies players now of course here at the bunker we play 1940 global second edition but you can use these poker chips obviously in any Axe and Allies franchise games most Axe and Allies franchise games don't come with any kind of currency or paper money or anything so it's great to have something physical around the table where we can keep track of what our income and our currency is i remember when i first saw this concept of poker chips around the table um, i did not like it i was kind of stuck in my ways when it came to paper money of course many of us played with paper money from the classic edition but the idea of poker chips i don't know that didn't really seem to grab me the first time but as i got them and and you was using them around the table it grew on me to the point now where I actually prefer poker chips. It doesn't have to necessarily be these types of poker chips. You can go out and get any poker chips really from anywhere. But however, these I trust because they are high quality clay poker chips. You can tell by the weight and the way that they interact with each other, the way that they stack. And... I love the color of them. Nice, vibrant, rich colors. The blue, the blood red, the green. I like the simplicity of the design. Like when I do have friends back over and I'd like to host a Texas Hold'em poker game, I would definitely use these chips over anything else that I have. Um, they're just that good. The quality is really high. And again, I love the color, the vibrant color. I love the simplicity of the design, 1, 5, 10, 25. A lot of poker chips out there are kind of pretentious in the way that they just try and bedazzle you with so many different patterns and colors in them. I kind of like this a lot. So let's take a look here. I've kind of separated them. I have lots of chips, obviously. Um, I've separated them here right here we're going to focus in right here what we've got this is the base set all right so over at historical board gaming i will provide a link in the description box of this video sending you over to historical board gaming and the base set is i believe 54.95 so 54.95 american right here for the base set you're going to get 10, 25, so 25 ones, you're gonna get 10, 5, 15 fives, and 10 tens, all right, in that base set. Now, obviously, this one is more designed for smaller Axe and Allies games, like Anniversary Edition, 1941, 1942 of the sort. Okay, this is not going to be enough, obviously, for a 1940 global game, um, where a lot of the currency being dished out just in the starting incomes to begin the game can amount to be a lot of uh, chips, okay? We're going to talk about this later. But now over here on this side, this is the base set. Now this is the 1940 global set. I don't know if he calls it that. Oh yeah, he does. So G40 set runs $79.95 American for... The G40 set, you're going to get 10, 10, 25. So the same amount of ones in the base set, 25. Here though, you're going to get an extra 10 fives. So 10, 25 instead of the 10, 15. So you're up 10 more here. And then the tens, you're only up five. So you'll get 10 in the base set. You'll get an extra five more. So... 10 more fives and five more tens and you're also going to get five of the 25s okay so these 25s do not come in the base set all right so those are added makes it easier to get chips back into the bank if you're 
if you have like uh, 50, 60, even up to 70 IPCs you're holding on to, you can get one or two of these chips and free up a lot of chips back into the bank. So the difference between the base set, it looks like 10 more fives and five more tens is the difference from the base set. You're also going to get in the G40 set 525 chips, which the base set doesn't have. This is the G40 set. You're also going to get five of these tokens or poker chips. They've got the image of a aircraft on it. These are called uh, research chips. So development technology research chip, research chip. Now, I have yet to figure out exactly how these are supposed to be kind of implemented into the game. I know Anniversary Edition had something called a research token. And I think that maybe that might be the initial original concept behind this is to just replace the research tokens that are in the Anniversary Edition game. But outside of that, I'm not quite sure exactly how we should implement these extra five chips into the game. I know 1940 Global, um, it's, an, uh, it's an optional research and development rule and not, I don't know a whole lot of people that bring that into the game so you're getting five chips now I want you guys to just fill up the comment board for me and you know apart from what I believe that these are supposed to represent and that is the research token from the anniversary edition game if you're playing global or any other game you know and you have this set maybe let me know in the comment field you know what you do with these if you use them at all and what what a good purpose would be for for these ones here if you're not playing anniversary edition and maybe you implement them into your game somehow what other kind of trick could you use so these five are included in here with the global set g40 set and of course the base set does not have five 25s and five research tokens now we have here something called a deluxe upgrade, all right? And the deluxe upgrade is $9.95 American. So you're gonna get five of the 25 chips and five more of these tokens, these black research uh, and development. They believe this says technology research chip. So for $9.95, you'll get an extra five and this so basically what this is meant to do is if you feel like you don't have enough chips in the base set for an anniversary edition or a 1941 game or 42 game which are the smaller franchise games out of out of the entire um, series uh, you can just go ahead and just get um, a deluxe set to add especially if you're playing anniversary you might prefer these instead of the research tokens the cardboard research tokens that comes in Anniversary so this is a nice compliment to an anniversary set so that you know You're not constantly running out of chips if you just find that you, there's not enough in the base Nice little booster set to get the 25s without having to spend and get more right so now there's one last option and that is this here which is the mini upgrade which is just 525 so if you want to upgrade your set here and you don't want these if uh, you can't find a use for these or you prefer the research tokens and again I mean maybe there's a better use for these that I don't know about you guys tell me in the comment section what you use them for and if they're if uh, they're they're if they hold any value for you but um, you know the mini upgrade just is five of these so that there is $5.95 American. So just $5.95 American for this. This here is $9.95. But it has these black chips. You might have a purpose for these and therefore want more. Or if you don't want them and it's only the five extras you need, then, then just go with the mini upgrade. Okay. So again, there's the numbers to all of this. I um, want to thank uh, Doug over at HBG for sending me this. I uh, want to thank James Campbell at I Will Never Grow Up for a great product, fantastic product. I love them. I love them around the table. And of course, 
like I said in the beginning where the concept didn't really stick with me and I was like, no, I don't like that. I prefer my paper money. Again, just like many things that are in this community, after I try them, they grow on me and I got no problem saying that these are really cool and, and endorse them. Um, but also too, when I shoot my videos and I'm doing strategy videos or tutorial videos, I found a use for these that I never really considered before and that was just being able to with one hand with one hand talk about currency make purchases with you know my hand and the left occupied with my camera uh, one hand just to count out all this super useful never realized just how useful until I gave away my set to somebody and I started using paper money again and realized how tricky that was trying to divide the paper money and and hand out cash during a video when I'm shooting a tutorial or something. So so great product. I highly recommend it. It is on the, the more expensive side. But if you consider the fact that high quality plastic chip, uh, sorry, high quality clay chips, you know, out there, if you go to any game store or whatever I mean you're gonna pay for professional quality and these are professional quality and again um, the designs I love so there you go uh, that's uh, I will never grow up poker chips I'll put a link in the description box going to HBG where you can purchase these yourself um, again, uh, thanks to everybody involved for these. They've been out for a long time, uh, well over three, four, maybe even possibly five years they've been out available to people. And, you know, they, uh, I Will Never Grow Up's been cranking them out and keeping them uh, full out there for anybody new coming into the hobby that sees them, might want them. And they're still out there and available, guys. So, Cheers, take care. Uh, you're going to see these around my table a lot in future videos. Um, and a lot of people are going to ask me, hey, what are those? Where'd you get them? So I'll just be able to have a video I can direct them to. Thanks, guys. Cheers. And may all your rules be ones. Take care. Have a good day.